Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Peter, you're not getting money for that or anything else. We're running seriously low on cash right now. In fact, I may have to get my own full-time job. Jeez, are we really living that close to the edge? You know we are, Brian. Why do you think we waited so long to take you to the groomers last month? Like it or not, we're gonna have to start living on a strict budget for a while. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and this is News... Oh, I thought you were going to sing with me, Joyce. Okay. Our top story tonight, the Rhode Island State Lottery has climbed to a record $150 million jackpot. That's right, Tom. Powerball fever has officially gripped Quahog. We sent Channel 5 News Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa around town to get the public reaction. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! Well, there you go, Lois. That's the answer right there. We'll just win the lottery. In fact, I'm going to go buy my winning ticket right now. Peter, what's wrong? It's, uh, nothing. I'm just going to wait a minute. Everyone, I got big news. We are going to be rich. Oh, my God, Peter, there are thousands of lottery tickets here. Where did you get the money for all these? Simple. I took out a second mortgage on a house. What? Peter, this is idiotic. Your odds of winning are like a hundred million to one. Don't you know the lottery is just a tax on stupid people? Peter, Brian's right. How can you be so irresponsible? You take these tickets back right now. No way, Lois. We're gonna win. I got lots of good karma built up from doing those USO shows. And now, please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. We're here live in our studio where a checkout girl in a cheap dress who wants to be a model is ready to draw the winning numbers. E! That's a three, honey. Turn it around. This! 31. Spooky ghost mouth! That's a zero. Snowman! Eight. Two sailboats! 44. 17! No, that's... Oh, yes, that is 17. She's good at 17. All right, kids, we got 200,000 lottery tickets we got to check. All right, how do you want to do this? A static shot of the house where night turns into day or a montage song that over-explains what we're doing? Um, that second one sounds like it could be funny. Checking lottery tickets, looking at the numbers and seeing if they match the ones on the news. The montage is almost over. That's why the music and the vocals are fading out right now. now. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Oh, my God. We won! What? Let me see that. Yes, we won the lottery! This is awesome. Now that we're rich, our lives are going to be so much better. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! All right. Yeah, money! Woo! Woo! All right, so how are we going to spend our winnings? I'm going to get some supermarket fried chicken and eat it until I'm nauseous. I'm going to finally get my gal that doodad she's been wanting. I'm going to get a floor mirror to squat over and see what's making all that noise. Okay, everybody just calm down. We're not going to go crazy spending our winnings, and we're not going to let this money change us. What are you talking about? This money is our ticket to the good life, starting now. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm going to dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Peter, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? I quit my job, Lois. You what? Yeah, we're rich now. I don't need to be working. Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Hey, Horace, another round for everybody. Yeah! Gosh, Peter, you're really being generous with your money. Hey, what's the point of being rich if you can't share it with your pals, huh? Okay, wait, I, I got one. Who would you rather do, Susan Boyle or a sex doll that's been passed around a fraternity? Well, have they been cleaning the doll? Please, these guys are betas. They're total animals. Hey, I got one, Peter. What would you rather do, tread water where you are right now? or increase your net worth five-fold within the next 18 months. Huh? Gee, I, I'm, I don't... Uh... Peter, I've taken the liberty of mocking up some sales projections. Wow, that's pretty good. And this would be our net profits. Yikes. 
You know, Peter, uh, Bonnie's birthday is coming up, and I'll be gall darned if I didn't go ahead and promise her that Stevie Nicks would come to our house and sing three songs to her. Boy. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Horace, give us three shots of your best bourbon. And have that Russian waiter I like bring it over. La 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 Thanks again, Peter. I gotta head out. I told my mother I'd visit her in the hospital. Yeah, and I gotta work. I'm flying a leg to Minneapolis tonight. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I understand. You, you got other things to do. I, I just wrote you guys a couple of checks. But no, you, you, you do your things. What? No, I mean, I, I'm just saying. I, I thought friends hang out, do things with each other. You know, especially when one friend gives the other friends a whole bunch of money. I once saw a deodorant commercial that had a woman pilot. Yeah, it's more like it. From now on, we're all gonna do whatever I want to do. Because I'm the one with the dough. Okay, I guess that's fair. Good, because what I want to do is stay here, get drunk, and watch TV. We now return to Michael McDonald during allergy season. <gasps> hey, Peter, you wanted me to watch the entire first season of True Blood and come show you where there was boob? That's right. I don't want to see any actual True Blood. Just boob. Yeah, well, I found some. No! Anna Paquin boob does not count as real boob. That's like looking at a 12-year-old boy. Jeez, you, you should know that, Joe. You should definitely know that. Sorry, Peter. Okay, Quagmire, I want you to take the first bite out of this fudge pop. Because that first bite is the one that really hurts. Well, okay. Mm. Ah! Mm. Ah! Ow! Ow! Yeah, that's right, Ow. Now you swallow that. Don't you dare spit that out. What's the difference? You got what you wanted? I said swallow it! Okay, guys, now you're gonna do a synchronized duet of making whoopee while I shoot you with this BB gun. That doesn't sound safe. Action! Another bride. You look so gay. Another June. Oh, what a day. Another sunny honeymoon. <laughs> oh! Another season. <laughs> Another reason for, for making, making whoopee. whoopee. Hey, Joe, open your eye. Ah! Gotcha! What the hell, Peter? You shot him in the eye! Keep singing, you! And keep your chin up so I can see your throat! No, no, screw this! You're a jerk! Jerk? What kind of a way is that to talk to your friend who gives you money? Go to hell, Peter! We don't need your money! And we don't need friends like you! Yeah! We're out of here! Fine, go on, I don't care! I don't need you! I got money. Oh my god, what the hell are you wearing? It's a solid gold tuxedo, Lois. I had to fight three rappers down at the nonsense store for this. Look, Peter, this is not who we are. I'm worried the money is changing this family and not the way you hoped. Well, I was hoping it would make you shut up, so you're right. I don't like what this money is doing to us. It's even affecting Brian and Stewie. <sighs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. What, here? Yeah, I had a giant mobile put in the sky so I can sleep wherever I want. And it's not just them. Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Lois, don't you understand? We don't got any of our old problems anymore. We don't have to worry about paying bills. We don't have to worry about saving dough. All we got to do is enjoy ourselves. Interested? <sighs> Oh, my God. Peter, it's beautiful. Is it a blood diamond? Oh, the bloodiest. The two kids who found it were forced to murder each other. Oh, Peter, I love it. Chris, Meg, now that I'm a rich father, you will try to impress me and I will remain distant. Go. Um, uh, say, Dad, did I tell you I got second place in the yacht race? Hmm, sounds like somebody's dad is happier than me right now. Well, um, how about this, Dad? The school paper's doing a story about me. That's because I had it arranged. Uh, I was thinking about joining the army? 
Ah, uh, I never thought I'd be having high tea at the Park Barrington every single day. Yes, it's nice to eat in a sea of white faces, isn't it? Waiter, have the chef prepare a bucket of your finest caviar and then give it a helicopter tour of the city. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. I hope it enjoys it as much as that main lobster I ordered. Sir, about your bill... Oh, don't worry, Carstairs. There's ample gratuity on there for you. <laughs> ah. Well, actually, sir, your card has been declined. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure a brief call to my accountant will resolve this to our mutual satisfaction. What do you mean I'm broke? What about all that money I sent to the Game and Islands? They did what with it? No, I don't want it back! I'm gonna miss you, Carstairs. I shall miss you too, sir. I can't believe it. We lost everything. What do we do now? Well, seems like our only hope is the lottery. Holy f we won twice and we're right back here again. We had $150 million and we blew through it in a month. Yeah, but on the bright side, if this hadn't happened, we never would have met Kyle. You know, we can't live like this. Well, what are we supposed to do, Lois? Everything we had is gone. We have friends, Peter. Not anymore, we don't. They're good people. They'll listen and they'll care what happens to us, even after everything that's happened. Well, well, look who it is. Who is it? It's me, Peter. I'm standing right here. This is a glass eye, Peter. They had to remove the one you shot. Oh, boy, that whole day was a mess, huh? What happened to you anyway? You look terrible. Look, you guys, I messed up bad. Winning the lottery was the worst thing that ever happened to me and my family. I don't expect you to forgive me, but if for some reason you do, you can find me in a cardboard box on the corner of Meeting and Thayer. Peter. Wait. That corner's a bit of a hike for me. I'd rather just come see you at home. Thank you. You're welcome. And if it makes you feel better, it was money well spent. Just ask Sandra, the waitress over there. We had a great time last night. Tough girl. Made it into war. Boy, I gotta say, it's good to be home. Yeah, despite all the ups and downs, things turned out for the best. I mean, really, we're no worse off than we were before. Plus, we learned something, and you can't put a price on that. Look, Lois, we all know what happened. We're all depressed. All right, now let's just go to different rooms and stare blankly out the window saying nothing.